Hey gang, let's try and do a quick update on Panzer and the uh, battle for Brody. The situation currently is that we've had four turns, uh, three turns I should say, beginning of the fourth turn, and the Nazis have uh, won initiative again. So Kampfgruppe Kampf uh, Schroeder is advancing. And what they're doing here is using the terrain of the map to try and uh, bound across the map to avoid as much fire as possible. We have explored the limits of extreme range shots and long range shots. Extreme range shots are almost worthless to take and unless you have a, a veteran unit or a, a very experienced unit, there's very little chance you're gonna hit with a base, uh, base uh, chance to hit of 10% and it goes down rapidly thereafter, particularly if units are moving. Uh, so what? So the plan here for the Germans, as I said, is to move uh, along this axis here, uh, provide some covering fire here, and then down here we are uh, uh, just bringing some units up this way and pop them in these trees here. Uh, that's not heavy wood, so they can go in there. And that will give them an opportunity to start firing on the flanks of these tanks. In the rough, that's a great little location because it has a nice uh, medium cover benefit. And then the Soviets have a few units down here, but their problem now is that their anti-tank uh, group, platoon or whatever it was, whatever size formation it was, the battery has, uh, has one command chit per turn for it because of its, uh, its seasoning and its experience. So they're really struggling. Uh, they've lost a lot of units. They've lost uh, four or five units, I believe. Yeah, four, three guns and, a, and the command unit. So that's posing problems for them. That's popped down their, uh, their ability to react and do things. So it's a nice mechanic that I'm becoming more familiar with. I've still got to work out the, the close assault slash uh, overrun process, how that works. There really are just a lot of uh, single letter designators on these information cards and it, it's a little overwhelming sometimes, uh, particularly when you're trying to play it a fair clip. I'm not sitting here goofing around, I'm really trying to crank through some turns here to see if I can get through a full scenario, 15 turn scenario and really uh, soak up the historical flavor that there is, uh, the, the game balance that's provided uh, in the scenarios and and just become more familiar with the turn with the turn sequence and the way the game is played. Uh, I'm finding now that uh, combats can happen pretty. Uh, 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 sorry, direct fire, um, a piercing, anti tank fire can all happen pretty quickly. So that's going well. And uh, basically, what I'm doing is rolling a die, and if the result is uh, at the extreme extreme end of the equation well, we don't need to look any further or go through the modified process so we're kind of cranking along that way uh, the Soviet plan is uh, I don't know we're gonna hang tough in the center try and keep this town as a uh, defensive area there and move the rest of the forces on this flank up to reinforce that section over there so we'll see how that all pans out I'm not holding out a lot of hope for them, but I do think that we can knock off at least three or four tanks and therefore whittle away the effectiveness of the German uh, attack in the next scenario, which will follow along uh, from the results of this. Uh, the di red discs will represent the uh, place where Soviet units have been killed, and we'll kind of keep track of things going, from, going forward from there. I'll talk to you soon.